hello guys so in this video we'll see how to edit an image in snapseed so let's see how good snapseed is so actually an editing app one of the best out there in play store so let's see why it's considered one of the best editing apps in play store so i'll show you a sample how to edit this image for example this image it doesn't show the foreground a bit i mean the details are lost in the foreground so it's a mobile click uh, using zenfone uh, 2 laser so macro shots so i'll show how to say how to like improve the image quality, improve the image with this using a snapseed. So let's see, edit using uh, snapseed. First, we'll apply uh, strong contrast with a bit. It increases the you know detailing sharpness. So some situation it increase the uh, noise in their low light situation. So I recommend not to use that in low light situations. So I think it's looking much better now. So now what we'll do is we will. Uh, just tune the image so I, I don't see much of the my foreground here so I need to see the foreground so I'll do is increase the uh, ambience so the max so now it looks a bit more artificial not so natural looking but we'll uh, we'll see we'll just make it better okay so just apply this so compared to this other one you can see a lot of content a lot of things in the foreground better <coughs> So now what we'll do is we'll apply something called the scope as a filter. There are some uh, like a lot of predefined filters which makes it better. So I think it's looking good now compared to the original one. So if you want you can um, do some selective adjust to it and make this image a bit more contrasty and saturated if required. And to use the sharpness you can go to structure of these and uh, i don't think this is required i think this looks cool <coughs> mm, so that's it if you want you can uh, increase you can do structure mode you can get a good bl a black and white mode so a lot of filters you can get like portrait smooth pop but you can see so even you can lose some details there actually in the foreground so i'll remove that but the background is blurred nice in portrait mode so if you want you can just apply portrait and then you know make it better so we'll try that actually so because the background is looking much better so i'll go to selective adjust again so i will uh use the brightness first uh, okay then contrast then structure oh it's a bit more artificial is it okay so we'll copy this thing here you can copy this uh, now you can see this filter no? you can see the change applied so i think this this much isn't required actually the width is less so you can just reduce the circle so i think it's still bit there yeah just on top i think it's better now <coughs> so we'll apply oh i don't think that's good so we want to go okay for example some edit you've done is uh, not as we require actually. So what to do is we'll just uh, remove this thing, the last edit, undo. Um, this portrait isn't required, so again undo. If you want portrait, you can just put redo, so the portrait is back. So again undo. So that's so it's really cool. If you want to add signatures, you can just go to uh, text. A lot of filters, a lot of uh, patterns. So I this is my favorite one. So I will choose my name, Yashak Suresh. So I can just adjust the size. And uh, <coughs> I choose a color if I want because right now the background is black, uh, green, so I'm putting something that matches the color. If you want, I can change anything like this, like uh, yellow, or something like that, like yellow, blue, or uh, anything. So, currently, this thing matches the color of the background. And if you want to increase some opacity or like transparency, you can just add this thing. So I can think it's the image look nice because and since it's in uh, mobile click you can't get much details you, know, you can see a lot of noises even in daylight but I think the image um, yeah might not be some people prefer this some people prefer this nothing this is good but it's actually you can make the image the way you want actually this is this can make a lot of change the snap seat so this will probably be my favorite editing apps. So that's it the tutorial if you like the video just hit click and subscribe to my channel that's it